Okay, so this is a topic called integration by recognition. This question says, find the derivative of the function y equals 5x plus 1 to the power of 3. And then we're going to use that result to deduce the antiderivative of that guy there, 3 outside of 5x plus 1 squared. Let's take first things first. Let's find the uh, derivative of 5x plus 1 cubed. So to y dx, it's going to equal. Now we can use the chain rule here. And by looking at the test, we need a bit more work on the chain rule, but anyway. Or we can use our little shortcut for these sort of expressions. And what has a little shortcut for working out the derivative? We're back to derivatives again, so turn our mind back a couple of weeks. The derivative of 5x plus 1 to the power of 3. What's the little rule we use? Somebody? Liam? Yep. Yep. Well done. We've done that. So, 3 goes out the front. Multiply by the derivative of the bracket. Reduce the bracket by 1. Tidy it up. And we get 15 outside of 5 plus 1 squared. Very good. We've answered part 1 of the question. Now, part 2 is, is use this result to deduce the antiderivative of 3 outside of 5x five plus, plus, five plus 1 squared. All right. Okay, so I've stuck the little question down the, the side there. So, going back a step. If the derivative of that is that, what's the antiderivative of that? That being that, sorry. The original, okay? If that, the derivative of that is that, then the integral of that goes back to there. So we can say that the integral of 15 outside of 5x plus 1 squared equals the guy that we started with, which was 5x plus 1 cubed. Plus, of course, there would be a C there as well. Where is all this leading? Well, we're asked to find... We're asked to find... not the integral of 15 outside of uh, 5x plus 1 squared... We were asked to find the integral of 3 outside of 5x plus 1 all squared. That's what we were asked to find, okay? Alright, now that poses a bit of a problem because if we, were asked the integral of, if we were asked the integral of 15, we've got an answer there already, but we were asked to find the integral of 3. Girls, just focus. Thank you. Alright. What are we going to do? Look how similar they are. It's infuriating, isn't it? We're asked to find this. We've got that. They're quite similar. Yes. Liam, what did you say? It was quite insightful. Aha. What we can do, okay, what we can do here is let's take this guy here and split it up. Let's split it up in two. Well, how can I split 15 up? Five times three. So that could equal... 5 times 3, whoops, do that. 5 times the integral of 3 times 5x plus 1 squared. See, I've broken that 15 up. So, can you also do that just more, just make it um, 5x plus 1 plus c just divided by 5? Yeah, but well, yeah, exactly. That's where it's leading. Because we're asked to find that, right? That's our target integral. Drawing a little target here. Okay, that's our target integral. There it is. To get our target integral, what we've done is split our 15 up into 5 times 3. Because now, can you see our target integral? I can see it. Here it is. There it is. 
We've isolated it. We've got what we want. Now, because uh, well, what we'll do now is we've also got the right-hand side here. So let's go back to the black pen. So that will equal what we had on the other side. All right. So all I've done there, going from there to there, is split it up, split the 15 up into 5 times 3. Why I've done that? So we can achieve what we want. That's our target. All right. So I'll just copy this onto the next slide. And we've got one more step to go. Okay, oops. Just undo that because it didn't paste where I wanted it to paste. That's better. Okay, we're to there. Let's get rid of that bit. So, what we're after, remember, question which is a bit hard to see, is you want this here. What's our last step to isolate that? Divide the other side by five. Okay, so therefore, the integral of 3 outside of 5x plus 1 all squared equals 1 fifth, or just divide it by 5, it doesn't matter. Now, we don't have to divide the c by 5, because c is just c, it's any number. And there's the answer. 1 fifth, or we could put it over 5 if we wanted to. Might write that down. This would be the same answer. Same answer, plus C. There's our answer. So let's go back over it. Okay, we'll just pause there. We might just try one of those easy ones. Okay, and then we'll do a harder one in a minute. 